good morning from Athens. We're about to go up to the Acropolis and the Parthenon, and Brad is here now too. Brad, you'll see him for the next two weeks. He's here to join us for our trip. He's the guest starring on the vlog. Um, and we're gonna be touring around Athens for the day. Athens is one of those cities you only really need a day in because it's uh, not always the prettiest of cities, but we're gonna spend a day here and then we're heading to Mykonos tomorrow. So first stop, the Acropolis. So you can see here at the south entrance, the line is actually not that bad, but um, we pre-bought our tickets online, so we have about five euros extra, and then we just walk right in. You don't have to wait in line to buy tickets. So life hack for sure, pre-buy your tickets so you don't have to wait in line, but it's up to you if you'd like to. And then you meander up this pathway, and you can see up there in the, between the trees, that is the part of the Apartheon. We're slowly meandering our way up there, but it's hot. The sun is cooking. The Odeon of Herodes Atticus. They actually still use it today for performances as well. You can see the floor there. And it used to have a big wooden roof across it. And he built it for his wife, but Mark's never built me an amphitheater. No, not yet. We're getting there one day. <laughs> but he had the pathway for it. This busy place here is the Propylaea, which is the grand entrance to the Acropolis and Parthenon above. And we're slowly getting a beautiful view of the city below. Oh, it's so amazing and so beautiful. It's so busy, but so beautiful. Walking through the grandest entrance. This at one time was all painted with colors and statues. Hey, voila, the Parthenon. We made it to the top of the hill. Okay, you got cheek sweats. Yeah, but just in the heat, the walk is fine. No, yeah, it's just it's hot. It's just slippery. Oh, it's just slippery, so be careful. We've reached the focal point of the viewpoint of the city here. You can see the entire city below with everybody else, all of our other friends. And the beautiful flag. Katie, would you like to tell me the story about the kids? Yeah, in 1941, two kids climbed up and took the Nazi flag down to teenage boys and they put the green flag up. So it's been a symbol of freedom and there's a little plaque commemorating them. Then over there you can see the rest of the Parthenon and the hill. This is the Erechtheon. I'll let you enjoy that one. Supposedly the spot where Athena and Poseidon fought it out for naming rights to the city. Poseidon threw his trident, which opened a gash in the earth, to bring forth the gift of water. It left a diagonal crack, which you can still see to this day. It's honestly so hot up here. Walk around the top of the Acropolis, and the sun just beats down on you. Ooh, oh yeah, it's like a tornado, a little cyclone. We couldn't get it. There's a cyclone on the little mountain back there, top there. It's pretty cool. Just kind of came and went. Yeah, it's really hot up top here. Every now and then we get a little bit of shade from the clouds, but it's pretty incredible. I mean, look behind you, you just have this amazing sight. Um, so no complaints there. But it's a hot day, and it's try and come early in the morning if you can to avoid the heat of the day. And then in the heat of the day, go down there into the Acropolis Museum where it's air-conditioned and look at all the relics. Yeah. Made it into the Placodum from the Acropolis. And the Placa is sort of the, the funky little area where there's lots of shops and restaurants and you can see like there's just tons of shopping down the street, up the street, everywhere. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here, check out our most recent other videos over here, or subscribe to our other channel over here.